Hi everyone, I got so many requests to create tricks on inverse trigonometry. So here it is. Please have a look at the kind of questions we are going to tackle. Now when you come across a question in a competitive exam, you have two ways. Either go ahead with a primitive conventional which I am calling as the dinosaur method. take a lot of time or simply follow these super shortcuts and solve these questions under 10 seconds but then please note all these shortcuts are only for competitive exams where you have mcqs and one single correct answer however if you want to know the concepts of inverse trigonometry i already have a whole playlist on the same Please do check that out. I will link it for you in the description box. You can get it by clicking at the i button and also at the end of this video. So, let the magic begin. I am sure most of you have already seen my method which is 0 or 1 and you are done as a part of trigonometry. If not, I will link it for you people in the description box. You can get it by clicking at the i button and also at the end of this video. So, you can literally solve these questions at most in 10 seconds. Have a look. If you are given x is greater than 0, y is greater than 0 and x is greater than y, then what is the value of one of these? It is very convenient once again to take x and y 0 or 1. At times, you will have to take x to be 0, y to be 1, vice versa or maybe both 0 or maybe both 1. However, there could be certain exceptional cases where 0 and 1 both fail and you might have to take another number. But trust me, whichever number I'll help you to take is going to make your problem damn simple. So here, since it already says x and y have to be greater than 0, Let's try taking x and y to be equal to 1. Now, the only concern when you take any of these is that, that none of the expressions should become undefined. Basically, it should end up giving you some value. Okay? So, if I substitute x and y as 1, this makes it tan inverse 1, which is very conveniently 5 by 4, plus this is 1 plus 1, which is 2 upon 0. Tan inverse of 2 by 0, but don't worry, we know tan inverse is not defined when the angle inside is 90 degrees. So, this makes it pi by 2. Thus, pi by 4 plus pi by 2, when you take the LCM, this ends up giving you 3 pi by 4. That means the answer to this expression is 3 pi by 4, which is clearly given over here. Wasn't this easy? Please have a look. Okay, please have a look at this question. We are very tempted to take x as 0 and y as 0 here. But what happens is, if x is 0, cos inverse 0 is pi by 2 minus pi by 2. So, my alpha becomes 0. But then, all these, but then a, b and d, they will all give me the same answer. So, I will end up getting multiple answers. Whereas, I am talking of MCQs where the correct answer is 1. So, what we do is, let's take x, y and, so now let's take x and y as 1. What happens is, cos inverse of 1, which would be 0, minus cos inverse of half, which would be pi by 3. So, that means, my alpha is minus pi by 3. Now, all I need to do is, Substitute x, y and alpha in this expression. So my x was 1. So this makes it, so this makes it 4 minus 4 cos of alpha which is minus pi by 3 plus y square which is again 1. So on solving this you know cos of 60 degrees is going to give me half. So this one gives us 4 minus 4 into half plus 1. And thus your answer is 3. Now let's see which of these options would give us the answer 3. So in this case, if I take alpha to be, 
If I take alpha to be minus pi by 3, you know sine of minus pi by 3 would be minus sine pi by 3. This would give us the answer minus root 3 by 2. So if I square it, my first option gives me the answer minus 4 into 3 by 4. That's minus 3. Not the answer. My option B is 4 sine square alpha, which will be 4 into 3 by 4. Bingo. That's your correct answer. Wasn't this easy? Let's have a look at another similar question. You have cos inverse of x by 2 plus cos inverse of y by 3 is theta. Then what would this expression look? Just like your previous question, you can take x as 1, y as 1. Or you can try something else with 0 or 1. For instance, I tried taking x as 1 and y as 0. What happens? You get cos inverse of half, which is of course your pi by 3, plus cos inverse of 0, which is pi by 2, which is theta. So on taking the LCM, we ended up getting 5 pi by 6, which is also 150 degrees. Now, coming to this expression, this will give me 9 into 1 square, which is 9. Minus 12 into whatever my y is 0. So this term vanishes plus 4y square again this term vanishes. So the answer is only 9. Now all I need to do is pick from these options whichever is giving me 9 as the answer. So for that certainly it's not 36. Now coming to sine of 5 pi by 6 or 150 degrees. This is sine of 90 plus 60. Or I can also call it as cos 60 degrees, which we all know is half. So, B option gives us minus 36 into 1 by 4. That's minus 9. So, incorrect. 36 sine square theta would be 36 into 1 by 4. Bingo! That's your answer. This one gives us 9. You can check out for D. That won't give you the answer. Please have a look. Now have a look at the fourth question. If you are given this huge looking expression, now going by your primitive, conventional or as I call it the dinosaur method, what you are going to do is, you would write this as tan inverse C2 minus tan inverse C1. This becomes tan inverse C3 minus tan inverse C2, so on. You would see these cancelling. You will be left with first and the last term and then you will have to apply the formula. That's going to take 4 or 5 minutes. But this trick 0 or 1 works so beautifully. Please have a look. If I take all these CIs to be simply 0, what happens? In the first expression, this vanishes. We are left with only tan inverse of minus pi by x. Here, this term because C2 minus C1 is a 0. This vanishes, this vanishes, so on and so forth. Even this one vanishes. This is Cn. So we are left with the last one which would be plus tan inverse of 1 upon Cn. Now 1 upon 0, you know tan inverse of 1 by 0 would be pi by 2. So I get pi by 2. Now using properties of inverse, this minus sign comes out. We are left with this. So pi by 2 minus tan inverse of y by x is cot inverse of y by x. Since your option has tan inverse, you know the moment you flip this, you will get your answer to be tan inverse x by y, which is right there. Wasn't this easy? It's time for our do-it-yourself question. We have done a similar question in the video. So do try it out and I'm sure you're going to get the answer in less than 10 seconds. Answer fast and correct because you know the top three answers get named in my upcoming videos. I am sure you enjoyed this video. Yes? Make sure to give this one a big thumbs up. Share it with all the people around you. And if you haven't done that so far, make sure to subscribe to my channel for many more math shortcut videos and also the full concept videos. I would see you with a new exciting one very soon. Till that, forget the dinosaur, 
and take up the shortcut. Bye-bye.